Moving on to race uh, number two and the second on the programme is one of the class one 1600 metres uh, the trip here the field headed by Kaiing star more than this in champions way all coming out of the queen silver jubilee cup behind Wai cuckoo last time out fast most furious super run from him at happy valley behind solar yy king shield we know all weather really is his go but off the big rating he's got to run somewhere and this is it played up went in singapore sling down in class singapore sling Possibly dangerous off that last weight as lightweight as well behind Glorious Dragon last time. King Shield is the only one of these. These seven runners, uh, Mark, who's been up at uh, Chung Fan the last 30 days. So he'll probably be our leader as well. He will. He'll be a question mark on the turf, Andrew, in the last furlong or so. Or whether it'll be a different story. Ka Ying Star, who has been leading up, he might take a trail off a good pace. Play Del Puente left on the outer. And then Champions Way and more than this, Fast Most Furious and Singapore Sling. He races best from back in the field pool and should get that good speed. Third up now of the season is uh, more than this. And look, he's uh, rock hard fit now. He moves nice in his work. And it was a good eye-catching run from him last time. So there's a lot of positives around more than this. And he uh, goes nicely once again. Alexi Vidal, of course, will take them out as well on race day. Fast Most Furious, now Joe Moreira was uh, doing the work on Fast Most Furious and he will take them out in race day as well. Uh, even sectionals for him as well as he comes down and the horse wasn't let go. We know uh, the 1400 metres uh, looks ideal for him, as, uh, sorry, the 1600 looks ideal for him as well. And Singapore Sling, another one who's tried well recently, I thought he was quite keen in his work here. You can see he's held back, so it's just a slow time, but he does want to go a lot faster. Yeah, let's check and see that horse was that just whizzed past him as well there in his, <laughs> his track work. We'll start off though with uh, more than worse, more than this scene. You saw the track work there under Alexi Bedell. Ed caught up with him at track work to find out more. Alexi, more than this, I know you haven't ridden him at the races before, but you've ridden him in a lot of his work leading into Saturday. How's he felt to you? Um, the horse feels good. Um, he's um, a good worker. He's got a good attitude. He's very relaxed and he, he's got a big action. He, he moves very well. Um, he seems to be a very good horse. He's had two runs now. Does he feel like a fit horse heading into the weekend? Well, I hope so. Um, yeah, I believe he must be um, a bit fit for that race. Um, I'll be disappointed if he couldn't uh, give a good performance. Have you looked at his replays and what have you made of his form heading into Saturday? Well, um, we, we, we've got a good draw, but he seems to be a, a big horse and he needs to keep going because he, he's, he's got a very long, long acceleration. So um, I'll try to give him a very clear run, and, uh, but he, he seems to be very competitive for that race. When you look at his run last time out in the Queen Silver Jubilee Cup, the group won over 1,400 metres, the way that he was finishing off. Does it give you confidence now with him stepping up to the mile? Yes, of course. Um, seems to be his best trip as well. Uh, finished very well last time, so um, I can only be a bit confident. Yeah, he was eating up the ground there, wasn't he, uh, Mark? Three-time winner over the mile. He can hit a flat spot, though, in his races sometimes. He can, and he's going to be behind Ka Ying Star again. And Zach rides that horse so well, and he knows King Shield so well, the other potential leader in the race. So he will give Ka Ying Star a start, Paul. It's a matter of if he can get past him in the last little bit. Yeah, I, I do think a mile's his best trip. I know he ran third in the derby over 2,000, but the 1,600 has looked ideal for him in the past, and I suppose the stats back that up with the three-time wins. OK, all right. He's our early favourite at this stage more than this. Fast Most Furious is a horse I've got a bit of time for as well, though, Paul, and this is a super effort. Only beaten a short head at the Valley last time. Yeah, he's got a really good turn of foot, this horse, and hits the line really strongly. We know he likes the 1,600 metres as well. And, uh, look, I, I think he's, uh, he's right in there for me as well. He goes in the numbers. Yeah, Jay gets aboard for the first time, and he's certainly in the top three as well. Comes back to Sha Tin, so that's going to be a plus for him as well. OK, Singapore Sling Mark's been a long road back from him from his classic cup victory from a couple of seasons uh, ago, but this was a bit more like it last time. It was, and he is a horse that will like it if the speed map is bang on with that good tempo and King Shield charges along. He'll be winding up with more than this, Paul. He's yet to win over 1,600 metres at uh, Sha Tin, however. It's only a small field this week, which will also be on assist, assist on his side. Yeah, the one thing I do like about him in this race is the weight he has to carry as well. He only has to carry 113, so it's a really light weight for the source. Yeah, that was exultant and fury. It wasn't too far away yeah. from. So a small field uh, here, Paul. More than this, you with the favourite? I am. I am with more than this. I, I do like him in this contest. I think third up over 1,600 looks ideal. We'll give Singapore sling, sling a chance with that light weight. Uh, Kaying Star, he's a class horse, as we know, but has to carry the weight. And then Fast Most Furious in for fourth. Two, seven, one, and four. Going to 
bank on Zach producing something special around Ka Ying Star, even up to the 1600 metres. Just the fact he knows King Shield so well and he doesn't meet more than this uh, as well as the weights this time. I think he can beat him home. One on top to beat number two more than this. He'll be flying late, as will the four fast, most furious in Champions Way. He's been a bit disappointing after winning that group three, three starts ago. John Sy Stable flying though. One, two, four and three. More than this uh, for me as well. But Kaying Star, if you saw the world's best racehorse rankings, came up as equal 12th that uh, really recently released. So hopefully for a big run him from Tony Cruz and Zach Pert. And that's the first of two class ones. The other one comes up later on the programme. Up next for us, race set number three, the first of our two visits to the all-weather.